Hey guys, what's up? Just got a package in the mail. Actually, I've been wanting these, one of these for a long, long time. It's for my test bench. And I have a lot of projects coming up that I need uh, to be able to send different voltages to my, what I'm testing. Um, I actually got to do some stuff with my ham radio. I'm going to change my, uh, fix my light bulbs in my uh, ICOM ham radio. The HF radio that I showed you in a different video. And uh, it runs 11 volts, so I needed something that actually could give me 11 volts so I could match up the right LEDs. Well, I'm doing a, a blue LED conversion on my uh, HF ham radio. Uh, so let's see what we got here. This was uh, 54 bucks, or 54 52 I can't remember on Amazon, but I'll put a link in the description where I got this thing, for how much it was, we can buy it if you want to buy it. But yeah, I love watching videos on... Uh, <laughs> I like to be able to see their product before I buy it, so that's hopefully what I'm trying to accomplish here. Is that if you're interested in buying this, you can at least see what it looks like out of the box. All right, so what do we get? I got. Um, hopefully, you're still in the frame. Yes, you are. What is that? Uh, what is this card? What is this card? I don't know. Warranty card. Okay. Um, and the manual. Doesn't seem like it's complicated enough where I think I would need this, but let's see. All right, let's take a look at this thing. See what it came with. Power cord, standard computer power cord. Um, little. Uh, yeah, I'll leave, I'll leave, I'll leave, uh, I forget the name of these clips, man. The uh, I don't know. That's funny. I forgot the name of these clips. Um, all right, so this clip so I can actually lead. I can. I have better leads than this. I'm not going to use these leads, but um, I'll show you the leads I do have. Let's get this out here. I was thinking these clips were named after a vegetable for some reason in my head. I don't know. So I'm going to take this to my test bench, move the camera over there, and we'll do some tests on it. Alright, so it's not that big. That's cool. I was hoping it wouldn't... It wasn't going to take up half my test bench, you know? Right, let's see this thing. Alright, I'm going to take out the camera, take it out of my test bench. Make sure the uh, voltages are correct, and I'll go through what the dials and buttons do. Alright guys, so I hope you can get a good view of this right here. I might have to zoom in a little bit here. Um, so yeah, I knew these were named uh, after some kind of either fruit or vegetable. Uh, I forgot, yeah, banana clips. So it looks like I can either... Okay, that sucks. It doesn't know... Sometimes they actually have a hole drilled through there. Where if you just have a splice wire, you can, it can put it through there, but this one doesn't. Let's see, I'm going to double verify. But yeah, like, like I was saying, sometimes... They have a hole drilled through this little threaded part right here, if you can see me. Um, and then, so if you had an unspliced wire, you could stick it in there. But uh, I guess it doesn't, so. Uh, yeah, positive, I guess, ground and, and negative. I don't know why you'd have a ground. Um, I mean, this thing is not AC. So, um, It's DC. That's why I wanted DC. So, um, what do they call it? They call it the uh, ground terminal. So, positive, negative, and ground. So, that's what they call it. All right. Um, let's see. Let me get this thing fired up. See what happens. Okay. I heard some uh, relays come on. So, right now, it looks like it's a fan came on. So this is the voltage. You have coarse, and then you have fine. I don't know if you can see that, but you have fine and coarse. So I'm guessing coarse is for large adjustments, and fine is for the smaller stuff. Let's put that in the middle. Okay. So zero volts, and this is your current. And this one, I'm guessing, is in milliamps or amps. Because the max output on this thing is 5 amps. 
So, what is it? Oh, amps, high, low. Let's uh, go low. Okay, so that's what that's for. I, I'm, like I said, you guys are seeing this when I'm seeing it. This is a, I mean, this is, I just opened it up. I haven't played it yet. So, this is for high amps. If it's out, then it's uh, high amps. And that's for low, like milliamps. So, I'm going to be using milliamps for now. Because I have some uh, LEDs I'll be testing, some blue LEDs for an LED conversion. So, sorry, I didn't see that. So, I'm couple different kinds of LEDs and I'll be showing that in the upcoming video and the project. So let's see if this thing works. Get these banana clips connected. Alright. Get my multimeter set up here. And maybe oh, there's a stand for this so you're not going to see that. Alright, maybe you can, maybe you can't. Put this on DC. I guess I just want to verify this thing actually works, you know, voltage-wise. So what it actually it puts out exactly what it says it's putting out. So right now this thing's running at 0.4. Okay. Point negative. Okay. So that's why I like these little clips. If you didn't see them, uh, I got this at a place called Marvac, but maybe I'll find them on Amazon where you can buy them. But they're cool little. Clips. They have like a little. Put that on here, like that. All right. And hopefully you can see the voltage. Let's see. So this should match. Eight volts. Eight point one. One four. So for me, I have to get. One of my projects I have been working on is uh, eighteen volts and 11 volts. What's weird is every time I go past a certain voltage I hear a relay click. So it is I'm sure they have different circuits for different voltages. Probably some kind of, these are probably variable resistors maybe, I don't know. Uh, 30, 30.4 so it's 34 there, 37 there. Let's see what the course does. Okay, so you can go even higher. So it really goes with 32 volts. So it is, it is not, it's not 100%. At least my meter is not. Let's go back to the course. Yeah, it, it definitely is not 100%, I don't think. At least with my multimeter here. It, it might be that way with higher voltages. I don't know. Let's go back down to... Let's see if I can get as close as I can get to 12. Okay, that's 12 right there, right? So, this thing says 12 volts. This says 1189. Let's bring it up just a little bit on a fine scale. I would say it's probably about a quarter of a volt off between the two. Like, I mean, that could also be part of the leads. Maybe someone got on the leads. Um, hi, guys. So, you'll be seeing this in some upcoming projects I have to do here. And, like I said, I'll be doing some LED work. And I have, uh, I'm going to be doing a uh, Makita battery repair video. So, I want to be able to charge this battery manually. And I actually ordered one of those chips. Sorry, I, I ordered one of those like uh, like no memory chips for one of these batteries. So if you're if you're familiar with Makita batteries, these things have like a memory on them. So it's sort of like a car battery, right? If you actually try to charge this battery like three times and it's not sufficiently charged in there, it destroys the battery. There's an internal chip in the freaking battery that tells it to no longer charge, even though the battery is perfectly fine. So uh, yeah, I got one of those little Chinese little chips. So we'll see if that works. Who knows? But. Cool guys, awesome.